So KSI's public image continues to crumble after PewDiePie recently spoke out on stream about KSI constantly copyright striking everyone who uses his music. And he reminds everyone how one of his most popular and iconic videos, My New Car, actually had to be taken down because it used KSI's song, Lamborghini. Listen to KSI's songs? Fuck no. He took away my greatest video of all time. Now I'm mad about it again. <laughs> My car video all started because of KSI's fucking music. Because KSI had to go and have a music career. It's all his fault. Now he played himself with this. I should sing about that. I should sing about copyright striking people. That's all he does all day. I mean, what an absolute tosser for having something like that taken down. KSI really is one of the fakest manufactured personalities on the whole internet. And his recent downfall is because the tantrum-throwing little child with a pathetically fragile ego that he's been hiding behind the KSI persona has finally been exposed. This is who KSI really is. Fuck yourself. You're good. Fuck your fuck all your fans and fuck you. No. And you know what's ironic? KSI once talked about how he wanted all of his music to be non-copyright because he didn't believe in music corporations giving creators strikes for using music online. He wanted everyone to be able to earn money. Yet, here he is, getting exposed for striking down iconic videos. In 2019, KSI tweeted, If you want to use our music in your YouTube videos or anything else, then go ahead. We ain't on that copyright bullshit or claiming bullshit. We out here letting everybody eat good. The way this guy speaks is actually unbearable. This is a new age. We're fully independent, so we make the rules. Enjoy the album. But he literally just copyright blocked a recent video by the H3 podcast where they were poking fun at his objectively horrendous new song, Thick of It. So much for the we ain't on that copyright bullshit or claiming bullshit. You see, KSI doesn't mind people using his music if they're going to react to it and show it in a positive light. Anything that inflates his fragile, plastic little ego but when they criticize his music, well, he can't deal with any negative attention. So he just has the videos removed. What an absolute prick. He really does make the rules. And never forget that this selfish narcissist literally blew up and made his millions by starting out with React content on YouTube. He is pulling the ladder up behind himself every single chance that he gets. This downfall couldn't be happening to a more deserving person. It's actually hilarious how three of the biggest YouTubers who have had the biggest and most deserved downfalls decided to team up and launch a crappy, extremely unhealthy joke of a product aimed at their only loyal followers left children. This stuff is full of rubbish. Highly processed corn syrup, industrial seed oils, flavorings. The list goes on. Ultra processed food has actually been proven to stunt brain development as well as puberty. So maybe this is a ploy by these degenerates to retain their audience of children by permanently mentally disabling them with processed garbage. For legal reasons, that is a complete joke. But you never know.